So today we are looking at the Asus All-in-One ET2012 IGTS. Okay. So basically, the major feature provided by this All-in-One is its touch screen. Okay. So you can do lots of things by using its touch screen. For example, it, they have provided some pre-installed apps with uh, the All-in-One, and uh, we can use these pre-installed apps easily by using the touch screen. For example, if we can pull down the dock. Okay. The dock has four options with it: Fun Touch. Asus Amuse, Asus Sharing, Asus Tools. Okay, so let us look at Fun Touch. Fun Touch has many apps in it. Okay, so we can uh, look about Asus Memo. So we are looking at Asus Memo. This is a memo taking app. We can use the touch screen to take a memo, or we can scribble anything on a memo. For example. Okay, we can even change the color by just tapping on a color and just choosing it and uh, scribbling with that color. Or else, we can even use the provided keyboard with it. Uh, we can use a touch screen for typing on that keyboard. As you can see, it's quite responsive and uh, does a does a job well. Okay, it also ha has eraser, which we can you know use by touching. Okay, it also provides uh, an application. Uh, for recording voice memo it's a nifty feature if we want to record your voice uh, and uh, put it into a memo as well it provides video recording directly uh, built inside the asus memo service uh, or else you can even print copies and send it to someone via the email option in the asus memo feature so you don't require a particular memo so you can easily delete it by swiping it down to the recycle bin and let's move on to other apps provided by Asus okay. the other app is called as Asus Cinema it's somewhat like uh, Windows Media Center but it's actually very easy to use like you can swipe your finger through it and you can scroll through your media options and features for example let us uh, want to uh, watch a video okay so we can just tap on a video button and uh, we can see that our uh, videos are already being played in a stream so it's a nice thing i mean you can tap on the screen and view a video okay. and the interface makes it very easy to uh, see as well as perform functions on the uh, via, via video watching let's go back to the other options provided by this okay so for example you want to see photos so you just tap on the photos and uh, you have a collection of your photos and uh, say if you want to see this photo and you can easily swipe it around, fool around with it, you can do anything you want. So you can see that the touch response while swiping photos in Asus Cinema is quite good. Uh, as well as you can easily pinch to zoom your photos or else you can even rotate those photos by using your fingers. Okay, it also has uh, editing options built within the app itself. You can auto fix the photo, you can fix a uh, red eye, you can crop the photo and you can even view the details about the photograph all inside Asus Cinema itself. So let's go back to the main menu of the Asus Cinema app and see what features it has to offer. It also has a U memo app which is almost similar to any other memo app but it's uh, easy on the eye it has uh, good features for example it provides with a good interface in which you can easily swipe and select a memo of your choice and you can open your toolbox and scribble anything on it by using the colors provided on the screen for example i choose this color and i scribble on it so it's quite responsive as well as it provides a, a stamp app which includes stamping uh, things on your memo for example, I choose this stamp and I tap on the screen so a stamp comes on the screen. Okay, and uh, if you want to put uh, text on your memo, then you can easily do that by tapping on the text option and typing on the screen when a uh, on onboard keyboard comes. Okay, there is also an alarm ticking app which you can use to put alarms into. Let's go back to the main menu. So this was the Asus Cinema app. So let's go back to the main page and see what else. Asus offers with this AIO. It offers Asus Cam which is a camera based option which you can use and uh, 
chat with anyone on the screen or you can capture sna- uh, capture uh, some videos or snapshot yourself by just tapping on the screen okay you can also use uh, features uh, which can make your uh, shorts look funny like you can use the this option and you can put stars on your head if you want to do that <laughs> okay as well as it provides some other things such as uh, the desktop feature in which you can capture the desktop or a part of the desktop of the screen okay so this was the asus cam app and let's move on to the other apps provided by asus okay so in this fun touch menu we also have a windows journal this is like a notepad based journal but on it you can even scribble as well as you can pull the keyboard and type on it okay so your type characters will appear on the screen and you can save this uh, as and when you want let's move to the other options such as sticky notes sticky notes is also the same memo taking app but it's a windows functionality but it provides touch functions as well so you can easily scribble on a stick on the sticky note by using your fingers okay let's move on to the snipping tool snipping by using the a mouse sometimes becomes tough but by using a touch screen it's quite easy as you can easily pull the amount or the part of the screen you want for snipping and you can select that and it gets snipped fast okay so you can save this uh, where we want or else you can do uh, you can change the type of the uh, uh, saved snip uh, into jpeg uh, png etc let's move on to the other apps provided by asus the desktop gadget gallery the desktop gadget gallery is the same ga- gadget gallery but instead it provides an easy touch based thing okay so you can tap on a thing uh, like the clock okay and you can add it on the screen okay it gets added and you can drag it anywhere on the screen by just swiping it around okay the other apps which asus provides uh, like uh, the paint the paint is the feature provided by windows itself but instead in this we can uh, use multi touch uh, for drawing things and writing stuff on it for example say i want to swipe down with two fingers i can do this i can even do anything i want with the two of my fingers it support uh, maximum touch support by the screen is 2 uh, okay so, but basically it gets the job job done pretty well you can even change the colors by tapping okay and uh, selecting the color of your choice okay so this was the list of fun apps provided by asus in its aio and uh, according to what i have seen on it Uh, i can say that it's quite good